Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This your big homie Jed. You're rocking with the Retro Inside a YouTube channel. Thank you all of you for returning to the channel. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of unboxings on shoes like this New Balance that we're going to do today. And please take a second just to like the video and help me out if you don't mind. Now, as I stated, we have another unboxing. This happens to be a engineered garments and New Balance collab shoe and I'm excited to do this video simply because I don't think there's another one on YouTube in this particular colorway so without any further ado let's go ahead and take a look quick look at the box and see what we have we have the M990 EGN5 so this is the New Balance 990 V5 and engineered garments did a collab uh, last year with this particular silhouette and uh, yeah retailed for 230 if not more in other areas so uh, definitely want to get a good look at this shoe because it is very interesting to say the least. So let's go ahead and get a quick look into the shoe. All right, welcome back. And before we get into the materials of the shoe, just want to let you guys know in this video's description, there will be quick links so you can get to different sections of the video as we talk about them. If you want to skip ahead, save some time. I don't mind if you do that. Now, before we get into the materials, which are very, very interesting, uh, let's take a look at the box lid. And it kind of goes over uh, the collab that they've done with engineered garments. And I must be honest, prior to purchase purchasing this shoe, I wasn't really aware of engineered garments, but they are a New York based uh, brand, clothing brand, and they do have interesting concepts or takes on design, right? So as you notice at the bottom, I think the key of this all is not all shoes are created equal. And as you probably noticed in the quick look, every shoe is different. The materials, the placement and where they are on each shoe is different. So let's start with the left shoe show you guys what uh, materials we have on this particular shoe so looking at the uh, lateral side uh, on the side here we have this kind of lizard print and this kind of a new buck type material and this is very nice material now the shoe is all blue but since we have so many different materials the shade of blue is slightly different it's kind of i mean it's basically the same color it's just to the eye it looks different because of the materials and we have it here it has a nice little texture to it and I, I assume this nine or the New Balance logo is a 3M. Now moving up to the toe box of the shoe, of course on the top we have this nice mesh that uh, New Balance is known for, the synthetic per perforated material that uh, overlays the, the toe box. And then here in the front we have this another same new, new buck material, but it's non textured, similar to this, but just doesn't have that lizard texture. Now moving up to the lace part of the shoe, we have a very, very nice suede that we are familiar with on a lot of New Balances. And then moving on to the back, we have a nice crocodile print leather. Now this is some very, very nice leather. I've had some leather on some New Balances that definitely is not as good as this. So they took it a step up with this particular leather. And uh, moving on to the medial side of the shoe, let's see what choices they've gone here. Now, um, I don't know if you can tell that, but this is actually leather, but it's a smooth leather. Very, very smooth, nice touch there. Of course, the new bug, the toe is still the same. And then coming on to the back heel, of course, that crocodile is uh, there as well. So all in all, a very nice left shoe. So uh, as we stated, not both shoes are not the same. So let's see what the right shoe is doing on the lateral side. So on the right shoe, the lateral side, is that crocodile print that we seen on the left side's back heel and that wraps around the entire mid panel of the shoe of course the mesh is the same the perforated overlay is the same but here in the front of the shoe instead of that new buck suede we have just that smooth leather that we found on the shoes the left shoes 
medial side. Now in the back portion of the shoe, we have that nice uh, suede, deep suede that we found around the lace area on the left hand shoe. And then moving over to the medial side, we have that very smooth, smooth nubuck material making its way to the inside of this particular shoe. So um, smooth leather in the front and that right there. So uh, now moving up to the laces, this is where we'll find that kind of lizard print nubuck material that was on the uh, lateral side of the left shoe. So all in all, a very unique look. So uh, to me, it comes together to make a very nice shoe. Um, it's very understated simply because the coloring is all the same, but it has enough difference that, you know, you can tell that it is a different shoe. So conversation piece, perhaps if someone notices your shoes and you know how they might be different, but I think it's a very nice shoe. So let's move on to the comfort and the fit in the, the next section. All right, I forgot to mention guys too before we get started on the fit and comfort that it does come with an extra set of laces. Now these laces are no different than the ones they have in. Just to give you an extra touch, I guess to help justify the increase in price point. So shout out to Engineer Garments and New Balance for adding those laces. Now as far as the fit of the New Balance 990 V5 in general, uh, what I've generally known about the 990s is they run a little bit long usually about a half size long in my opinion so i usually wear anywhere between 11 and a half and a 12 and i definitely have to go down a half size in the 990 v5s but um as far as the fit um the width is pretty good you know don't have any pressure on the side of the shoe or anything like that it's just that it is a little bit long so if you prefer a snug fit i would definitely recommend that you go down a half size now people with wide feet you can afford to probably go true to size now um so as far as the comfort we all know that the 990 or we should know is one of the most comfortable shoes on the market regardless of new old retro non -ret, whatever the case may be new balance has done a great job of getting the cushioning right on this shoe now the back heel or the midsole is pretty much all in cap which is a technology that's a little bit firmer on the outside then has that softer feel on the inside and is extremely durable so um, i'm a bigger guy as you probably already know if you're a fan of the channel but if you aren't um yeah i'm a big guy and i've had numerous new balances and the one thing that i like is the longevity of the midsole comfort you know some of these newer technologies kind of break down over time and these kind of keep on keeping on like for a long period of time you know everything stays pretty stable and it doesn't just you know just soften up and just become useless so uh, if you are in the market for a very comfortable shoe not just a stylish one i would definitely suggest you not just take take a look at this particular model but also just any of new balances model so um that's it as far as the fit and the uh comfort and now we're gonna move on to let you know where i was able to cop this shoe All right, so when it comes to where I was able to cop, as you can see it here, I was able to cop from Bodega, which is a retailer based out of LA. And they are known for some great collabs of some shoes, uh, especially those No Bad Days. And I forgot, the, what was it? Uh, the other 997S collab last year. But yeah, anyway, this is where I was able to get it. They had a great sale. I forgot exactly how much the sale was, but the shoe was already marked down. And I got an additional uh, percentage off. So I think I paid roughly around $130 or $40 out uh, shipped. So um, at the time that I'm recording this video, I think they had a size 11 and a half left on this shoe. So if you are interested in getting a pair of the Engineered Carments 990 V5, that is a place where you can get it. And uh, they have other colorways too, but I don't know if they have those available on their site. This is the Navy pair, which I said not many people have covered online and i was fortunate enough to be able to get a pair to give you a good good look at them and they also have a black pair and if i'm not mistaken they had like a white or silver pair but anyways that's been it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and at the end of this one we got a special surprise for you so y'all take care but until next time stay humble and proceed <music>